nice Monday morning. Uh, my first job this morning is a eight-wheeled roll-on, roll-off, uh, and it will probably have uh, a van or something in the back. It's a export motor going abroad. I've uh, got to take it down to Dover Docks. Um, done the uh, roofing truck convoy this weekend. Absolutely amazing. Uh, there's a video before this video showing the roofing truck convoy. It's a Christmas, uh, blah, 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 get me words out. It's a Christmas charity truck light convoy uh, in order of the RNLI and the Young Carers. So always good to support a good cause. Um, I've got to say a massive shout out to my daughter Lexi because she's been begging me for a shout out on one of my YouTube videos. So love you loads. Um, yeah, we're going to crack on with this one. Um, nice Monday morning. The weather's not too great. Uh, but we're going to get it done. So this is our first job of the day. All secured in there. Got two forklifts in the back. This one's going for export. I don't know where it's going to, but it's a pretty good export to be fair. Don't usually have exports like this. Um, 13.6 high this is. So by the time we've lifted it, it won't make much difference because uh, obviously we're, we're lifting the front. So we're going to uh, take the prop off of this one. We don't want to have oil all over the place. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty nice one to be fair. Right, so we're all uh, hooked up, we've got the lines on, got airlines on, lights on, bit of lightage, lovely, chained underneath. What we do with the eight wheelers when they're loaded, for those that don't know and those that have just started following the recovery pages, um, we run the second axle on the floor. That just distributes the weight a little bit better and it means you're not, you know, lifting the whole, both axles off the floor, which obviously gives you more steering and better, better ride quality. Um, I mean, empty, you could lift one of these, you know, both axles off the floor, it wouldn't be a problem. But, I mean, you know, the eight wheelers are designed to take weight. So fully loaded, um, yeah, they're going to be a, going to be a bit of a pain. But, um, yeah, we run the second axle on the floor. Um, oh, look at her, she's hanging today. Uh, needs a good wash, definitely. So it's all good, though. Um, this one all the way to Dover. Uh, down to the export place there uh, to go on a ship to go abroad so yeah we'll have a nice uh, nice little ride out yes I am filming this in a private yard and watch the steer as we go around the corners the the rear the second steer actually steers into the thing so you'll see it now So that's all dropped off and um just gotta wait for the paperwork now, it's just getting weighed in. Uh, we'll weigh that one on the way bridge, get some uh, get to see some big stuff in places like this, big ships and yeah, it's uh they're loading a ship next to me. Let's have a little look. Loading the ship, and then we got the Fred Olsen cruise liner. Look at that. And then over the back, Dover Castle. <laughs> Let's turn some lights on. Hey, we're there. And they've got a new high vis vent today as well. Um, how are we all doing? Um, another one of my cheeky little vlogs. Uh, just on my way to Ipswich to pick up a loaded eight wheeled uh, flatbed with a couple of dumpers on it. Um, it's in a Tesco car park, so we're gonna have to see what happens when we uh, when we get there with this one. Um, it is only uh, um, a bit of a slow puncher on the front, 
uh, but because the driver sat there for so long it's run out of time and it's just better to just get it recovered I don't know why um, so we're gonna go down to Ipswich get that one on the back try and get out of the Tesco's car park worst comes to worst I'll drive it out of the car park and uh, hook it up outside but yeah we'll see what happens so on my way to Ipswich still and stuck on the A12. Yay, yay, yay. This is the problem with truck driving nowadays. Um, you just get traffic everywhere you go. Little accident happens or big accident, grinds everything to a halt and then you sit there for an hour, two hours, who knows. It's just, oh, it's mind numbing.